Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode today on our eucalyptus bowl. Um, now obviously as per the last few episodes we really are just kind of refining this down and refining it down and what I want to do today is try and take off some of the corners. Um, now the reason for that is I don't want this bowl just this big lump of wood, I want to kind of bring it down a bit, make it a little bit more flowing um, which hopefully you'll see by the end of this episode. Um, and today I'm going to be using my axe again, um, now I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use, um, talk about first world problems. Um, um, so it's either going to be my GB uh, Swedish carving hat, uh, uh, yeah, can't speak today, my GB Swedish carving axe um, or my Hans Carlson Sloyd axe. Um, I'm going to start off with the smaller, lighter one, just because I don't want to accidentally break off a large piece of material. Um, and again, you know, like the last few episodes, I'm just going to be kind of moving the camera around a bit. Um, you know, I'm not going to do sort of a start to finish thing because it really just takes a, a hell of a long time to show you done the same thing over and over again. Um, so I'm going to move the camera a bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, so here is the bowl as we left it last time and it's the corners down here and down here that I want to start looking at today. Um, obviously we've got some quite steep lines up here and you know we could leave this like this but it does just make it a quite a large lump of wood with a bowl inside. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, and looking at this, I mean the bowl probably travels something like this down this side. Um, sorry about the planes guys. Um, but we've got you know, quite a, a, a lot of waste material here that we really don't need. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've actually made a couple of lines, hopefully you can see that all right on the camera there. Uh, I've got a, a line down the centre here, which is the, the dead centre of the bowl, and I've got a line either side, which is about two and a half inches either way, um, and that's going to be the base of my bowl, um, so that's the lines I'm going to be working to today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start off with my axe, um, and I'm going to be coming in sort of right on the corner to begin with, and as I'm making new corners, so obviously if I start cutting down here um, I'll have a corner on one side a corner on the other I'll then start working to those and so on and so forth and I'll be doing that both sides um, so I'm going to make a start and as I say I'm just going to be flipping the camera around moving to some different angles just so you can get a good idea of what it is I'm doing So these are, let me bring this a bit closer. So these are the new corners that I'm talking about. Um, so I can keep cutting on the flat here, there's nothing wrong with that, but I actually find it's a lot easier and a lot quicker to remove waste wood. Um, a bit like when you're making a feather stick, you know, you kind of cut down until you get a smooth area and then you move back over to those corners because they are uh, much more likely and, and, and they, What's the word I'm looking for here? They actually prefer to sort of be cut if that makes a weird kind of sense. You know, it's a lot easier to cut on a corner than it is to try and carry on cutting on a flat. Now the other thing to remember when you're doing axe work like this is you can actually do some fairly detailed work um, by firstly choking up towards the head of the axe um, and secondly reducing the amount of power that you're using. So you're actually kind of using um, a bit more of your arm, a little bit more of your wrist um, and less sort of the weight of the axe and putting sort of a great deal of power behind it. Uh, 
and this is really useful for getting rid of things like large tool marks. I mean, you're never going to get completely clean carving from an axe unless you're kind of using it maybe like this, like a bit of a plane. Um, and to be honest, there are better tools to do that job with. Um, but if you have been doing a lot of heavy axe work like I just have, um, and then you just want to sort of tidy it up a bit, ready to move over to a knife or a draw knife or something of that nature, um, you can either kind of do some planing cuts with your axe, which work really well, or you can do some really small, fine um, sort of chops and cuts just to get out those large tool marks. Right, so I thought this would be a useful stage just to stop for a second and show you what it is I'm trying to do. So hopefully you can see you've got this really angular line up here and where I'm starting to bring this curve round. Um, now the most telling part of this is on the end here you can see a big flat face and what I'm trying to do, and I'll bring this a bit closer for you, is to remove that face and have this last little bit here that's sort of left of where I made that saw cut join up to the top. Um, now once I've done that there should be a fairly significant piece of waste wood all the way down here or all the way down here removed um, and then you kind of have this fairly flowing line coming up here rather than this just sort of big dead piece of wood up here. Um, so that's what I'm going for um, and if I just grab my other axe, um, so I've flipped over to the other one now just because I can, um, and I'm just going to carry on trying to remove just this last piece of the face. So there you go guys, probably about half an hour's work so far and we've got that sort of sweeping curve starting off, still a bit of material to take off and at this stage you can either do one of two things. Now what I'm going to do is using my little push knife, um, really good tools these by the way, um, I'm just going to smooth off all of these really kind of heavy looking tool marks just to see what the overall effect is going to be when I'm finished. Now I might leave it like this. Um, but until I've smoothed this down, I'm really unsure about how I want to go. Um, so locking this in against my carving stump, you just take your push knife and just gently start shaving down. Um, and the benefit of this over using an axe or a knife or something like that is you've got some really good control. It's, it's essentially a reverse draw knife. Um, so rather than cutting towards yourself, um, though you can do that with these, and I, I quite often do, um, but at this position you know you're using your body weight and the strength of your arms just to sort of push through and again like a lot of bladed tools a lot of the cutting power comes down to the angle so if I put it on a really sort of shallow angle like this I'm taking off really really tiny bits of material if I was to sort of put this at a much more acute angle like so you're really biting into that wood, and that's what I don't want to be doing at this stage. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing this for a while, and I'll come back to you when we've uh, smoothed this down. Right then guys, well that's probably where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, hopefully you can see the difference between the side that I haven't done any work on and the one we've been uh, curving and smoothing down. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close up on the end here. So obviously we've got this nice flowing curve, it actually shows off the grain pretty well here as well. Um, you know, and it's a lot more round. It's still a bit more work to do I think, um, though I haven't quite decided how, especially in comparison to this, which is just really kind of a very acute angle. And to be honest, for a, a nice sort of oval rounded bowl like this, I'm not a huge fan of these kind of sharp angles. Um, so I won't bore you with doing this side, I'll do that between now and the next episode. Um, I need to have a little think about this. 
I'm either going to carry on just reducing the amount of waste wood down on here. Now that I've seen what this looks like with the curve in, I quite like it. The alternative and my original idea was actually going to be to try and make this slightly concave, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I'll need to have a bit more of a think about it. Um, so that's it for today. I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.